Happy Easter. Today's book review, When the Sacred Gin Mill Closes. I finished this book yesterday. This was an interesting read. I gave it a 3.9 out of 5. It was written in 1986 by Lawrence Block. It's another entry in the Matthew Scudder series. It was an interesting book. It, You know, fun fact is Block was supposedly going to be done with the Matthew Scudder series after 8 Million Ways to Die, which I read, which takes place prior to this book. This book kind of starts in a really ambiguous, crazy way. I mean, you you have, you know, Scudder in this bar drinking with his buddies, and then these two men come in and they hold the place up and rob it with gunpoint. And it's very nonchalant that Scudder and his buddies are kind of like, you know, hey, what are you going to do? It's New York type thing. And then, you know, in the second chapter, you learn, you know, Scudder's talking about, you know, something that happened 10 years ago, like in the mid 70s. And so that was kind of jarring. And it was kind of actually a little difficult to follow at first until you kind of get a little further and you kind of understand what's going on. You know, after that robbery, you know, there's this whole series of, of random crimes and events that's going on. You have, you know, the owners of the club are these two IRA members that um, they're proposing this ten thousand dollar reward to find out reward to find out what's going on with you know why they were robbed. And then you have these characters, or f friends of Scudder's, Tommy and Skip. And Tommy is thrown in jail because he suspected that. You know, he murdered his wife, who ends up dead. And then you have Skip, who apparently is, you know, seeking Scudder's advice because he's needs assistance and, you know, his tax evasion and his business. And he's kind of being blackmailed, you know, and all along, you know, he, Scudder's trying to figure out what's going on. And he's telling, you know, he's kind of telling this story that took to place 10 years ago and then you meet some side characters you know obviously he there's references you know to his life with Anita his wife or his wife you know, the wife of his well his ex-wife and the mother of his children it's an interesting read I mean obviously throughout this hall you have a, a very sharp contrast to where we were in the previous book <coughs> Bless me, and I'll edit that out, as Brian Lee Durfee would say. But it, it, as I was saying, it was a huge contrast to the previous book, Eight Million Ways to Die, because in that book, you had this hope that Scudder was going to kick his alcoholism and, and actually have sobriety on his hand. And then you have this book where he's drinking again, and then you obviously when you're doing the flashback and telling the story 10 years ago, he's heavily drinking bourbon and you know, frequenting places and talking to buddies and, and drinking is a huge part of his life all throughout trying to solve all these various, you know, plot threads. It was an interesting book, you know, in, in a play, in some because you had so much going on in block rights, so concise, it was a little hard in places to kind of understand, you know, like, again, what's the, you know, like, it's hard to follow a little bit, which is why I was a little more critical of the rating but it's very interesting in, in typical block style the conclusion is very good i really like the conclusion i like how it ended you know there's some definite plot twists and even though i've given you know some premise to the book and some somewhat spoilers i'm not going to go into some of those plot twists because i just feel like if you read this you definitely don't want that um to know that ahead of time i think it, it will devalue your your fun and enjoyment Again, 3.9 out of 5, When the Sacred Gimbal Closes by Lawrence Block. Again, this is, I think, book 6, I believe, in the Matthew Scudder series. It, it was published in 1986. It was a fun read. Uh, it was very quick for me. So, anyways, that's a book review. Hope you're having a great Easter. Thanks.